G'day guys, how you going? I hope you're having a fantastic evening. Tonight I'm going to be doing a film review. This is a British horror film made in 2008, directed by James Watkins, and this is Eden Lake. Now Eden Lake is about a city couple, uh, Jenny and Steve. They're eager to leave their stressful city lives for a weekend, and they decide to go to the idyllic, picturesque surroundings of Eden Lake. Now Eden Lake is this beautiful place that's not going to be around for much longer because there's a lot of construction going on, some housing. So pretty soon this is going to become non-existent. So Jenny and Steve, they want to uh, go into a peaceful environment and uh, this uh, setting of Eden Lake is a perfect setting for a romantic weekend. So they go there, the film opens up with these two. They're a very likeable couple, a very loving couple. You can tell that they're very much in love and they're sharing a lot of tender moments between them. And you know, it's kind of a feel-good sort of start to the film. But then their peaceful weekend is interrupted by a group of teenagers. Now, very, very disrespectful teenagers. And they're led by a guy named Brett. Now, Brett is played by Jack O'Connell from TV's Skins. Haven't seen that show. This is the first time I've really seen him in an acting role. So, um, Brett is the leader of this group. And they're very, very disrespectful. Now, before I go on, uh, Brett has this very love... Uh, very uh, big dog named Bonnie. Now Bonnie is very much loved by Brett and she's not a vicious dog but she's very intimidating. Now I say this because this dog plays a big part in how events unfold in this film. So this group are with their dog and they're being very disrespectful to Jenny and Steve and Jenny decides, to, uh, she suggests to Steve that they go somewhere else but Steve says he's not going to be bullied by a group of 12 year olds, he's going to stay put, he's going to be stubborn. Now if Steve had have known what's about to happen, he probably would have left, but they don't, so they stay put. Eventually, this group of teenagers, they leave. And a bit later in the day, Steve realises that the bag containing the car keys has, is gone. So he's fearing the worst, and his, fear, his fears are confirmed when the car he sees that the car's not there. So a little bit later, the car comes out of nowhere and nearly runs Jenny and Steve over. And the car stops, and the group of teenagers are inside this car. They're going for a joyride. And Steve can see Brett. He's driving the car, and they speed off. So he's furious. Uh, Steve's furious. And I think they follow the car tracks because somehow they come across these teenagers later at night. They're around this campfire, and they've got this animal locked in this cage, and they're torturing it. They're kicking it. And they're just really enjoying it, which really gives you the indication that these teenagers are more than just a group of disrespectful little wankers. They are, in fact, troubled because, you know, torturing an animal for any sane person, that would be, you know, a pretty horrible thing to do. But for these people, they seem to enjoy it. So anyway, Steve comes up to him. He says, give him my keys back. I won't tell anybody what you're doing to this animal. Just give him my keys so we can get out of your hair. You know, we won't bother you anymore. But Brett, being the little wanker he is, is saying, I've got your car, mate. It's not yours. Obviously it, it, obviously it is his, but he's just being a smart ass and denying it. So Steve and Brett end up getting into a little altercation, a little scuffle. And Brett's dog, Bonnie, comes in between this scuffle and is accidentally stabbed. And Bonnie dies. Now, to say that Brett took his beloved dog's death badly is an understatement. Because he just goes into a full-on rage and what results from that is a very sadistic game of cat and mouse between the gang and Jenny and Steve. Jenny and Steve are running for their lives and the whole film is basically them trying to stay out of harm's way and to do that they have to stay out of the view of this gang who are looking for them and that's your story. I have to say this is one of the hardest films to watch for me in a very, very long time. Definitely the most hardcore sort of British film I've had to watch. The acting was very good. Now, Jenny and Steve, they're very likeable, which makes it very, very hard to see the torture scenes a bit later. Now, I'm not going to tell you what happens, but there are some scenes that, yeah, just really hard to watch, and you just hope that Jenny and Steve can get out of this safely, and you hope that the gang of teenagers really get what they deserve. And that comes down to the acting. They portrayed some but portrayed some very, very good characters here. Brett, he's the leader of the group, and he is the one who's very troubled. Now, towards the start of the film, we get a scene where we see Brett's dad. Now, Brett's dad, he's an alcoholic, and he's a very aggressive personality. So you get the feeling that Brett has grown up in a very violent environment, and this is what's causing him to 
uh, be very violent himself. So it's really, you know, if you're raised in a very violent atmosphere, chances are you're going to become violent, and that's exactly what Brett is. Uh, the rest of this gang, what makes this sad is that the rest of this gang are reluctant to do this, but they're so scared of Brett that what he might do if they decline, that they go along with it. So they're really put through this from peer pressure that, you know, a lot of them, they know it's wrong, but Brett, he's the boss, and, yeah, they're just scared to say no, so they go along with it, which, you know, is something very different in the horror film. Usually the whole gang is psychos, but in this case, the leader of the gang is pretty much the psycho, and everybody else has to um, obey his orders, I guess you could say. So yeah, there is a scene in this film that has stayed with me for a very long time. I'm not going to give it away, but it involves in a little Indian kid. And it's not what you see, it's what you hear. And what I heard when I saw this scene has stayed with me. One of the most disturbing scenes I've ever seen. And one of the only disturbing scenes that's got to me just from what I heard. It was just absolutely horrible. Uh, there are a lot of horrible scenes in this film. It is an extreme film. And the ending, the ending is one of the most depressing endings you could ever imagine. Uh, personally, I love the ending, but, you know, I'm just a freak. So a lot of people will not like this film just for the ending. And I know, you know, it's been criticised for its ending, but this is what separates these kind of movies from your usual Hollywood films. You know, Hollywood, they like to have a hopeful sort of ending. But, well, films of late, though, in Hollywood, they're starting to, you know, mix it up, but this film is just, uh, it's a horrible sort of feeling to the film, it's not a horrible film, but it is in a way, if you know what I mean, it's not a film you enjoy, it doesn't glorify violence, it shows violence for what it is, it's very disturbing, very nasty, very similar to Wolf Creek in the feel to the film, not excessive in gore, There's blood's not splattered everywhere for the sake of it, it is just very realistic, as I said, like Wolf Creek, and the atmosphere is like Wolf Creek. It's just a very depressing, no hope sort of atmosphere. And you're kind of hoping that things are alright, but you've got the feeling deep down that things aren't going to be alright. So it just keeps going from there. So yeah, compared to films like, I don't know, um, August Underground, Grotesque, the violence doesn't match those. But I think, to me, this violence in this film was much more disturbing because it's very real. And as I said, you like the couple of Steve and Jenny and you don't want to see them hurt. So it just makes it even more heartbreaking. Now, it says on the back, you don't watch it, you survive it. A battering experience and the hardest Brit horror film in years. The best British horror film in years, nasty, scary and tight as a drum. One of the most provocative and terrifying thrillers of the year. Very, very true. This is a very hard film to watch. I only recommend it to extreme fans. Uh, the violence could be a little bit too much for your average horror film fan. But, you know, if this seems like something you're interested in, definitely go for it. But just keep in mind, it's very depressing and it has some very, very sort of shocking scenes in it. Now, yeah, it's just very intense. There is a very good level of suspense. I almost forgot to say that. The suspense in this film is very, very good. The... Uh, when Jenny and Steve are hiding from these um, gang members who are hell-bent on seeking revenge for their dog, you, you can feel the suspense, which is another um, is another thing to add to the positives. Uh, a lot of films either rely on gore or rely on suspense, but don't have both. This one does have very nasty violence and very good suspense, so there's a bit in it for everybody. But as I said, if you're an average horror film fan, I would probably stay away from this one. But if you like your stuff that's a bit more hardcore, a bit more hard to watch and will last in your memory for quite a while, it's definitely this one. I love the film. I can't recommend it to everybody. But yeah, if you're into this sort of stuff and you think you might like it, well, definitely check it out because it's certainly worth it. A few stupid decisions from characters here and there, but overall you can't you know, blame the director for that because if characters do the same thing or the sensible thing all the time as I said in another video uh, if the characters do sensible things all the time well you don't have much of a movie so you have to forgive it in this case so yeah that's Eden Lake very very good British horror film um, definitely recommended for those of you who are into the more hardcore sort of stuff alright guys that's my review I hope you enjoyed it and I'll see you later bye